Hey guys, Dave Moore, iDaveMoore.com, coming at you with a video today on a special announcement and something that I purchased that you're not going to quite expect. So, special announcement. Well, a lot of you know that I started working at Select Fire Training Center a few weeks back. Now, when I first walked into doors there, to the right, there was a glass case. And in that case was a item that I couldn't believe was true, having looked at the price. So I see the price and I'm thinking, ah, yeah, that's a good deal. Uh, but, hey, you know, I don't have money right now. You know, what, what am I going to do? So I start working and a few weeks go by and I look at it and it's still there. And I'm thinking, you know what? To not buy this would be stupid. Like, you're stupid not to buy this. Why hasn't anybody bought it? What's going on? So I do some more research and I kind of talk about a price and I ended up getting it. Now, what I got, you're not going to quite expect. Uh, it surprised me too, but it was just one of those things that if I didn't get it, I would kick myself in the face every day for the next 10 years. So, what did I get? Well, let me show you. I got a new handy dandy Glock 19. Yes, actually no. I did not get a Glock 19, that's a joke. What I did get though, however, resides behind the walls of this Pelican 1085 case. Now I know a lot of you just said, well Dave, the 1085 is a laptop case. And you are true, it is a laptop case. However, what is in it though is not a laptop. It is a modified little package deal that I pretty much got for a steal. So behind the squeaky hinges of this Pelican case is as follows. Dramatic. It is something that you wouldn't quite expect me to get, something that I'm not exactly known to like, but it is something that I do have a little fancy for now, and that is a Remington R1 Enhanced with a threaded barrel. Yes, Dave Moore got a 1911, a full-size 1911 at that. Now, this is the Remington R1 Enhanced threaded barrel. As I said, full-size 1911 came with two mags. One here is empty, and one I have with the Winchester Ranger 230 grain hollow point, because you never know. But, what is special about this 1911? You're probably, probably noticing the grips are a little bit different. And there might be an engraving here that's a little bit different from what you would expect from a normal Remington. Well, I can't exactly show you the other counterparts of this, but this is a package deal with Advanced Armament Core. A lot of you know that Remington and Advanced Armament, AAC, are owned by the same umbrella company. So what they did is they paired together and made a package deal. And the package is this here 1911 and a Tyrant 45 suppressor. Yes, I now have a suppressor. Well, I will. Uh, so the package deal, I pretty much got a free suppressor. However you look at it, either a free gun or a free suppressor. Either way, I have a badass kit here and now I have a suppressor. So suppressor video is coming shortly. The only thing that I really need to do to this here 1911 is add an ambi safety, which is going to take some little uh, work. I gotta get new pins and modify the grip, but the fabulous people over at American Tactical Concepts are going to help me do that. So, yes, I now own a 1911, and in four months I will own a suppressor, a Tyrant 45. So what do I do? I go and I do a bunch of research on the suppressor, and I find out that Shooting 45 through it, 230 grain, you're getting about 126 dBs. And shooting 9 mil through it, 147 grain, you're getting about 126 up to 130. So, hearing safe with both calibers, and a lot of you know, if you buy a suppressor, buy the bigger can, the bigger hole, to shoot the smaller calibers out of it. So, I will be getting a threaded barrel for my Glock 19, and I will be running the suppressor on both of them. Now, speaking of suppressors, well, how do you get one? Obviously, you need to buy a tax stamp and you have to fill out the Form 4. Luckily, I already had the serial number for the suppressor, so all I needed was a Form 4. If I didn't, I would need a Form 3 to come back from the manufacturer to get the serial, and then you can fill out your Form 4. So, whew, what did I do? Well, I have a shout out to Kevin Bradford. He's a lawyer out in Canfield a pro-gun, gun-toting lawyer, and he helped me out with a NFA Firearms Trust. So, 
I made a trust that I can have beneficiaries. We have to have at least one beneficiary and trustees on this, meaning that if the person is on my trust, they can be in possession of this suppressor. So if you ever need a trust done, an NFA trust, hit up Kevin Bradford. I'll put his information down in the uh, description there, but it's a very painless process. I started yesterday filling out the form, sent the email in, and now I have a trust. So it, it took, you can get it done with good communication in a matter of an hour, probably, uh, as long as you have a notary near you. So I now have a trust, a suppressor, and a 1911. So I know a lot of you are saying, well, Dave, you hate 1911s, and you're kind of true. I've always liked the history behind it. So, well, what I really wanted was a Colt original 1911, but the Remington R1 Enhanced is a good deal at that. Uh, like I said, I'm not too versed in 1911, so I'm not going to really review it because I really have no idea what I'm talking about at the moment. But having used it for a little while, I'll probably do a review and just kind of tell you what I think about it. So, in summation, I'm going to actually steal this one from Hickok 45. Life is good. And to add my own little flavor, keep shooting, but do it quietly.